Now then everybody, I hope you're all well. We are taking Jeff the camper van on his first trip abroad and we are going to France! Now then everybody, I hope you're all well. Join me, my wife Michelle and our daughter Olivia as we take you on a long awaited family holiday to France. It's Jeff the camper van's first time out of the UK and we hope you will join us for the ride. We stay at three campsites, visit markets, go biking, boating, walking, sailing, sandcastling and drive to some beautiful places during our stay. We have created these videos to show you what it's like to holiday for two weeks abroad in a small van as a family and hopefully this will give you some ideas and inspiration to do something similar yourselves. There'll be tips and tricks throughout this series, fun and laughter and most importantly the outtakes at the end of each video. Stay awesome everyone and we hope you enjoy this latest series. See you bye! Right then guys, I am back from the wedding. It's uh, 20 past 10 in fact, so I'm probably, well definitely going to need a shower. Uh, get changed, get sorted, and then it's time to set off down to Portsmouth. At the moment it's saying four hours and 16 minutes, so not too bad, but it definitely won't be that by the time we get there. Um, really excited now, the wedding's done, everything's backed up, everything's away, my mum and dad are here, uh, looking after Branston and the house, and uh, I can't wait, it's holiday time, nice. All showered and changed, and nice and spicy eye, now it's time we're going holiday. Nice! about how to stay awake on the motorway and we've played it before and it's a fantastic game so you basically have a certain number of points for spotting certain vehicles so we had 10 points for a police car uh, two points for a B&M van and uh, two points for an Amazon truck anyway we've hit the motorway and you can't see a thing so that game's just gone out of the window we stopped off at Watford Gap and um, that's about it. <laughs> that's the only update I've got. I did get myself a Costa and it wasn't £4.15. So I think that place that got me that time saw me coming. It's only like 3 20 which is still a, that's a lot for coffee, isn't it? <sighs> right then, it's half past four in the morning. We've made it down to the ferry port in Portsmouth and we've basically just pulled up behind a load of other vehicles because the uh, terminal doesn't open for another uh, hour or so. So we've got down here in great time, happy days. I might have a wander over to the terminal building, see if that's open, grab another coffee. Uh, Cause I am absolutely wired after all this coffee. Probably best if I don't have one. Right, see you in a bit, bye. We've basically got to wait till everybody else gets off and then we can get on. Awesome. Portsmouth. Why is it not pronounced Portsmouth? That's how it is, isn't it? Portsmouth. We've put kettle on. Nice. Something we couldn't do last time we came here. It's about five years ago. Oh, we're going now. Oh, right. Let's go. See you bye. literally right at the front so we had to wait to be the last on but now we're going to be the first off happy days this is our little mini cabin for the next six hours we thought we'd get one just because of the way that we'd driven down and stuff and how tired we were so we're just going to offload a load of stuff and then uh, go for a wander around the ship then once i've eaten then I'll go to sleep.
trying to walk on this boat, it's proper hard, isn't it? Feels like you're drunk. Whoa, off I go again. <laughs> when I come into a place like this, all I can smell is just everything. So I can't smell an individual scent, just all of the scents. <laughs> We have just got up from a sleep and we feel awesome. Getting a cabin is literally worth its weight in gold. I highly recommend you getting one if you come over on this crossing. So kudos to Michelle for booking it. Uh, I had no idea. I thought we'd just be lounging on some seats somewhere trying to get some kip. But now I'm feeling fresh and we're gonna go up and get some lunch before we dock in about an hour's time. Awesome. I'll tell you something now, the French know how to make coffee. Oh. Ah, legends. Auto Legends. Right, we have docked. We're off back to the cabin now to go grab our stuff and get back downstairs to where the car is, van, and uh, head on our merry way into France. I'll not lie, that wasn't a pleasant experience. <laughs> that was the most stressful thing ever. We've never had to stop having got off the ferry to check stock and just calm ourselves down a little bit. That was nuts. We were lit we were first off the boat, so we were blocking everybody. We couldn't find where we were going. And then when we got there, it was like, well, you can go now. I'm like, I'm not ready. I didn't have anything in the sat nav. And then, and then you get hit with, get on the other side of the road. Oh. So we just said, just pull into a car park, take a deep breath, get ourselves sorted, make sure we've got the right sat nav coordinates in, and then we can carry on. It was literally the time from getting the um, go, getting to the car to actually being in France through passport control was literally four minutes. We yeah. timed it. And yeah. it we've, that's never happened to nah. us. Nah. And we were that we were that family that we've run into their car at the last minute. <laughs> like, oh, I'm really sorry. Yeah. And it, it, literally, we just sat in the car and the ramp had come down and they were just like, right, off you go. I'm like, yeah. ah. We have stopped off at the air, Mont Saint Michel, because Michel, although it's named after a man, oui. not a woman, the view from literally the front of the van, ah, the French do it differently. I know this is kind of paranoid, but not really. Uh, when we do stop at a services, we tend to go in little groups, so it'll either be me and Olivia or um, me and Michelle or Olivia and Michelle and then I'll go separately just so then there's someone at least with the van just while we've got everything in it it just makes us a bit paranoid if we you know everything's there like the sat nav and the cameras and all the other stuff uh, we don't like leaving it however there's a chap in a van right next door to us who just walked off and left his windows open <laughs> So we have arrived, uh, we're about five minutes away from the campsite and we thought we'd do the shopping when we get here to save carting it all the way down, save fuel, blah blah blah. For those that are interested, we've done about 450 miles since Leeds at 38 miles per gallon and used half a tank. Happy days, probably about 60 quid in fuel and there's been no toll roads whatsoever to get down to, we're pretty much just outside Nantes and I need to get the fridge on. So it's cold, to keep my beers cold. Nice. Been sat here ages now. It's just been almost an hour, and I've had to do French with an actual Frenchman, and all of my GCSE French came out. <laughs> we have camped, and all we've done is pulled up, and we are pretty much ready to, to rock. I'm gonna get a chair out. I'm gonna sit down. Look at this, it's beautiful. Oh, this is campsite number one. Uh, I can't wait to do you the campsite tour as well. Yeah, because this is lovely. We haven't even looked at it yet. Uh, the first time we see it in video, it's the first time you're going to see it as well. We're really near the toilets as well, just there. Lovely, lovely. And the plot's massive. We're under trees. What's that in your hand? Um, it is a beer. Which <gasps> is very much deserved. I've it's the just... smallest beer on the planet. <laughs> I'm going to need nine of them. <laughs> Good morning everybody, had an amazing sleep last night. Uh, we all hit a wall before we went to bed and just went because <laughs> we were absolutely shattered. One thing to note, certainly in these toilets, uh, there's no toilet seats, there's no lids. 
what how weird is that so you just kind of like just on the porcelain it's a bit weird shell's just sorting the fan out now for uh getting all the bed back and whatnot and then we might even have a pool day this is this is just a chill day <laughs> so we've got five hours of driving tomorrow but uh, i'm not going to think about that right now i'm going to have a coffee my breakfast and chill So are you having that in your aero press or in you? I'm having it in that, it tastes better in that. Right then everybody, it's time for the campsite tour. We have three French campsites to show you in this series of videos, so stay tuned for more tours over the coming weeks. Links to all of the sites that we visit will be in the description of the videos. We chose to stay for two nights at a campsite just outside Nantes before travelling down to Bordeaux, and the campsite we're staying at is called Port Moulon. We had electric hookup, and it was a normal electric hookup, like the plug you use in the UK, and it was only a few feet away from the van, alongside the water tap. The toilets are clean and well maintained, there's a push button for the shower and no lids on the toilets for some daft reason. The toilets were unisex so filming in them was a bit difficult. All in one block there are showers, toilets, basins for washing your hands and face and separate sinks for pot washing. There is also a waste area, an Elson point and accessible toilets. There is a communal barbecue area which I thought was a nice touch, bike and kayak hire, a small games room, microwave and fridge, a play area and a bar that served snacks and even had a mull frite evening while we were there. The pool was small but clean and you have to take your flip flops off and shower before you get in the pool. This is a beautiful site close to the river and well worth a stop off before travelling further south. Right, time for the pool. Right then, let's go to the pool, see how cold it is. And, uh... See if I don't look like a weirdo with a camera down at a pool. No dogs, no smoking, no food, no chewing gum, no fighting, no running, no swimming, no whatever that is, mobile phoning, no floaty things, no floaty things, no fun, no fun, no fun, no fun, no fun, no fun, no fun. Well, this is this is a video you've never seen me do before. Me chilling on a sun lounger. Um, it's proper race, is this? I love it. Uh, but I can't turn the camera around the other way because there's quite a lot of children in the pool, and. Uh, I don't want to be that guy. When that bar opens, there's nothing better than a beer on a sun lounger, is there? This is the worst bit for a man. This bit. Okay. Right, so we've only just realised and figured out because we completely forgot that you can't wear these kind of shorts um, in French swimming pools. You have to wear the, I don't know how to, how to call them. They're just very, very tight. So we're travelling again tomorrow down to Bordeaux and I just thought I'd have a quick look at the weather forecast. My lord, it's going to be hot. 40 degrees. Um, by the time we get there, it'll be, so we'll be arriving in 40 degree weather. Oh my lord, that's going to be hot. Right now it's beautiful. It's like 29.30 um, and we're really enjoying it because we're in the shade as well under the trees. It's proper nice, but 40 degrees is going to be next level. <laughs> So I've been looking on Google Maps and it would seem that there is a river that runs down the side here and it's got some boats in it and stuff like that so I'm going to have a wander down. The girls don't want to because it's too warm for them to be uh, uh, running around, they don't want to be doing that so I'm going to go for a bit of a wander down that way and, uh, and see what's there. There might be some photographic opportunities, who knows, who knows. I'm just waiting for them to come back now, they're just doing the pots uh, and then I'll go. It should be lovely, see you in a bit, bye. <laughs> Bonjour donkey. I mean this is lovely, it's a nice little walk uh, along the uh, riverside and whatnot and it's very French when you look at the river it's all like the lily pads and stuff but you'd be forgiven to think that you're not in just a warm UK you know 
it really really is that i mean it's not much different to this versus walking on Otley Shevin or going up to Ingleborough via the bushes and stuff but it's still beautiful and it gives you that little feeling of sense that you're at home and you've gone for a walk and then you remember actually no I'm on holiday this is nice <laughs> This is nice. Sat down in the shade right next to the river. Oh, I don't know what river it is. E R D R E, I think. Erdre, Erdre, Erdre. Anyway, beer. It's probably all shaken up. No, nice. They're really small beers in France, so you can have like a thousand of them. Let me look at the size of that. It's teeny tiny, but. This is nice. For those that are wondering why we haven't got the awning up at the moment, we're only here for a couple of nights, tonight being the last night, and then we're moving on. So we thought, I'm not setting the awning up in this heat, sweat bags, just to collapse it all down again. It's a bit of a pain, I'll be honest with you, because the suitcases are on the front seat and we've not spun the seat round and it's all a bit kind of cramped. But every holiday in my head is an experiment. And that experiment is, what can we do different next time? Or was this perfect? Have we nailed it? Uh, that's the idea anyway. Right, I'm going back. Um, the uh, pool is calling. I'm really warm, so I'm going to go jump in the pool and get cool. Should be lovely. Nice. So will they dry their air outside, randomly, very bizarrely. We've had dinner and everything. We've chilled out this afternoon. We even went back down to the pool. Um, and we've made dinner, and we've just basically sorted the van out so it's ready to go in the morning. We're thinking of setting off super early uh, so we can get down to Bordeaux uh, in good time before it gets to like 40 degrees and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna crack on. Okay, I shall see you in a bit. Bye. So you're probably all thinking, where's Branston? Now, we didn't bring Branston on this trip because this is our first trip abroad with the van. We didn't know what it were gonna be like and we didn't want to add that extra stress. Branston's a big black hairy dog and it's really warm over here. If we go down to the pool, we can't leave him in the van because uh, it's super hot. We like to explore um, around and about and you know, we'll go out at 11 o'clock and come back at three o'clock now it's not a very good time to take a dog out walking on the tarmac with his paws burning and stuff like that so yeah we decided not to bring him this time but we'll figure out a way next time i am sure but it's just an added stress that we didn't want to add to all of this he takes up so much room in the van as well uh, we are going to miss him and we do miss him and every time we see another dog we're like oh that's so nice i do apologize for those who come here for branston you can switch off now <laughs> Still missed them all. <laughs> so they're having a bit of a mole freak night with a live music on and uh, and whatnot, but uh, we're having an early night, so we didn't book into that one because obviously we're going down to the next campsite tomorrow. Uh, so I thought I'd just nip over there and film that for you because that ah, was cute, I like it. Right, so that's pretty much us packed up and ready to go. Olivia and Michelle have gone down to recycling bins just to get rid of all our rubbish, and it is just a case in the morning of transferring the things from the front into the back and setting off. We're hoping to get off super, super early. So sorry if I don't do a video in the morning, I'm a bit cranky without a coffee and. Uh, we're not going to be making coffees or breakfast or anything like that in the van. We're going to set off and drive and hopefully pull up somewhere to get breakfast and get my first coffee of the day. Um, because nobody needs to see me on camera without a coffee. <laughs> but that's about it. So I'm going to go to bed and I shall see you guys in the morning. Okay, see you, bye. Welcome back to another video, everybody. And um, welcome back to another adventure, everybody. I hope you're all well in this. Especially when you bring all your bags down. I fit, no, I fit it all in one bag because you told me I had I to. did. I did it like an aeroplane. I said, get all your stuff in a suitcase and you're allowed one carry-on. Oh. <laughs> Don't even make me spit my coffee out. <laughs> it's the pressure of knowing you need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour YouTube. Uh, be, oh God, no. I'm, <laughs> oh, what's that bing bong? Why every time I press record she does bing bongs? There's a 
slashing thing. Keep, keep it in the thing. Is that Olivia's count? Ready? Three, two, one. Front! That wasn't even loud, was it? <laughs> I wish you'd stop bloody talking while I was trying to record. We just had the... It's another place you can plug your phone in, I don't know. Will somebody die if you don't plug your phone in? Do you not know how to work a gate? Press, turn, turn. That's it. Just like... That sun is. I need my bag. I don't know. I think my son is in the bag.